welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing my wash day routine i hope you guys enjoy this video it's gonna be rather fast but before i start the video i want to let you guys know if you enjoy it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what other videos you guys would like to see on my channel also i have a lot of different natural hair videos that you guys can check out i will link it in the eye above for your convenience let's get started Okay, so first I'm starting off with my Design Essentials Natural Hair Avocado and Almond Moisturizing Shampoo. I like using a moisturizing shampoo because I wash my hair every week. If my hair is braided, I wash my hair every two weeks, but when my natural hair is out, I wash it every week. My, my wash day routine is a moisturizing routine and also a clarifying routine. So for the first week, I would do this routine, which is just using a moisturizing shampoo. It's also cleaning the hair, but it's not stripping the hair. So I'm doing a moisturizing shampoo and a co-wash. You will see that today in this video. And my second wash day routine is a clarifying shampoo where I will go ahead and do a clarifying wash and then I will use the moisturizing wash because you always want to keep that moisture in your hair. You don't want to strip everything out and then your hair is just dry. Oh. And I pre-poo. If you want to see how I do my pre-poo, I will leave the video in the eye above so you guys can check that out. I love pre-pooing because if you seen my channel like when I first started, whichever time I did my wash day routine in the kitchen, you will see that I always wash my hair in sections. But now that my hair is longer, I don't wash it in sections. I just unbraid the pre-pooed sections. Keep in mind, I rinsed off the oils and stuff. If I don't do an oil pre-poo, I will do a leave-in conditioner pre-poo, but I rinse that out before I even go into shampoo. And I basically remove the twist and wash it with the shampoo as I go. I don't do the section washing anymore. I feel like that does too much. And the pre-poo made my hair more manageable, so that's why I'm doing it like this. And I like washing my hair in the bathroom because it keeps my hair going straight down, which is the way that I style it. So I'm not flipping my hair over into the sink and having to flip it back for it to look crazy. The top of my hair is a different density and texture than the bottom. The top is more thick and the bottom is more loose. I did do a protein treatment. That's why my hair is more curly and the shedding is minimal when you do this routine. But make sure you try the pre-poo. That will literally save your life. And if your hair is shedding due to like hormonal stuff or health wise, just try the pre pooing and see if that's going to lessen the amount of shedding that you receive. So I'm just rinsing my hair out like this and you can see it looks moisturized because we use that moisturizing shampoo. And I'm just showing you a little bit of close up. My hair is high porosity and I believe I'm probably like a 4B, 4A texture. I don't know. Comment down below what hair type you think I am. But yeah, I did do a protein treatment. So if you've seen me blow dry my hair, you will see that my curls look way looser. But the protein treatment helps to help my hair to bounce back. And don't ever feel discouraged if you have shrinkage. Because I always feel like shrinkage is a sign of healthy hair. So I'm going in with the same Design Essential brand, the natural hair brand. I'm using the co-wash to do my second shampoo. And this is going to cleanse my hair without stripping it even more. And I just like doing this because keep in mind the week, the week before we did the cleansing. So now I'm just using more moisturizing products even though it is cleaning the hair very thoroughly. Thoroughly? I don't know. Thoroughly. Okay, and I'm just showing you the hair. It's not tangly or anything. If you try this routine, don't forget to let me or message me on Instagram so I will know if it worked for you. This routine literally saves my life. It takes me 30 minutes tops to wash my hair. So yeah, and that's because the pre-pool literally saves me the detangling time. It saves me all of that. 
but i just wanted to let you guys know we're going through this crazy ass pandemic and a lot of scary ass shit be happening well not even scary but unbelievable ass shit and if you did not know china is flooded like one of their dam dams or something like that it's it flooded the place and people had to evacuate it messed up their food source all of that shit but nobody is telling us that so make sure you guys are going ahead and get you some water and some canned goods in the store because america shut down their farms and they're making fake ass meat and shit in the labs which they always been doing but now they're being secretive about it which is really annoying but anyways just make sure you guys are looking out for you and your families and go to the grocery store and get some stuff to be prepared and be sorry i don't know that was very random but anyways back to regular schedule programming i'm gonna be using my mish beauty protein deep conditioner it's a protein moisture balance deep conditioner i love using this every other week so i do a moisturizing deep conditioner and then i do my protein deep conditioner and all that does it helps my hair to maintain my protein treatment because i do the protein treatment every six to eight weeks so I use the protein deep conditioner to help maintain my hair. Um, what is it? Like just my, cause my hair is high porosity. I don't want my hair to be sticking together. So it just helps to maintain and just help my curls. Okay. It just helps the health of my hair. So I'm going to wrap that into a low bun and I'm going to put it in my shower cap. My shower cap? My plastic cap. I'm going to leave this on my hair for 20 minutes while I take a shower. All right. And once the 20 minutes is done, I take it out and you can see the bounce back it's not stick it's not stuck together it's perfectly fine and then i'm gonna rinse that out and i like rinsing out like this so the water is running on my hair straight down and it just makes sure that i can get the hair as clean as possible and I do that to both sides. I'm sorry for any background noise you may hear. I'm truly, I don't know what's going on. And then I'm gonna go with my leave-in conditioner. I like putting my leave-in conditioner in the shower because it just minimizes the work I have to do when I get out the shower. This is the Cryer High Porosity Leave-In Conditioner. I actually really like this, it's very thick. Once I put this leave-in conditioner on my hair, I make sure I follow up with my mommy's deep moisturizing butter because that is what's going to seal in that moisture for four to five days. Because if I want to stretch my days, I go four to, four, four to five days. If I really want to like really take care of my hair, I go every two days, but four to five days the max. I use my moisturizing hair butter to seal this in once I get out the shower and then just style like normal. The moisturizing hair butter will help you to retain length. That's what I have. That's what I've been using to retain length. So yeah. And you can see when I'm pulling my hair, my length is still there. But because now I have my protein to help my curls, now my curls are more thick instead of relaxed. Because my curls were very relaxed. I just comb that through i was finger detangling this whole wash day i mean there wasn't really anything to detangle because i already pre-detangled in the pre-poo section so this just made the wash day super easy and quick and then i'm just gonna put this cap on for five minutes max 
and then proceed with using your butter to seal in that moisture and then style like regular i like sitting under the dryer to um, dry my hair on cool air for 15 minutes that just helps my hair to dry faster so my pore was it the pores the pores aren't open and this is how much shedding i got from this whole wash day minimal shedding and yeah so that's all i did if you want to see how i dry my hair i will have that video linked up in the eye above thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me i will definitely see you in my next video bye